What's up guys, today I'm gonna to teach you how to become a dominant finisher. I got three layup drills that I use with our NBA players and I use on myself to get better at finishing around the rim. Now I'm here with my guy David. This is my guy David right here. What he told me earlier is he said, when you go through these drill demos, if you miss two in a row, you gotta get in this pool, this freezing cold pool, fully clothed. So I'm praying that I don't miss more than two in a row. Now, let me add to that. If this video does not help you become a better finisher, if you didn't benefit from these drills, let me know in the comments. And if I didn't help you guys get better, I'll get in the freezing cold pool anyways. Let's get it. Let's do it. I got three drills. I'm gonna make six on each drill before I move on to the next one. If I miss two in a row, I'm stopping and getting in that freezing cold pool. All right guys, so for this first drill, I'm working on my up and unders. So being able to get high, show the ball up, come down under and finish. I'm gonna use the net for a little bit of accountability to know that I got the same height every time. So I gotta to touch the bottom of the net. I gotta bring the ball down below my belly button height and finish, all right? So I'm trying to get the big hands up and go under. Now notice, I'm not going from a full approach. This isn't a drill where we're really trying to work on hang time. We're more so working on ball control in the air, body control in the air. So even if you don't have a lot of hang time off one foot from a one step, we still gotta be able to show high, get low and finish. Remember, right now I gotta make six, but if I miss two in a row, I'm going in that freezing cold pool. I'm starting off with the hardest drill too. This one's not easy, guys. That's one. Woo! It's two. We're halfway there, guys. That's three. No cold water for me at rhyme two. Oh my God, that side's so tough. All right, this one's gotta go. Woo, that's four. Five. It's for game. Ooh, baby. All right, this is it. If I miss, I'm in the pool. If I make, I win. Boom! Next drill. All right, so this drill is all about touch. So what I'm gonna do is just split between one dribble. We'll work on that push, like I'm kind of pushing through traffic. All right, don't get it too far out in front of you, but right here to split through a defender, that's pretty safe. I'm gonna pick it up with one hand and get it up nice and quick. Now every shot has to go above that square. All right, so I count it as a miss if I go below the square. Again, I gotta make six. I can't miss two in a row. Missed my first one. Cash, I got one. Two. Halfway there. I don't know. I don't know, that might have been cheating. I went to the side, so I'm, we'll redo, because I don't know if that went above or below. Now that one went above. That's four. I don't think that went above. I'm gonna count that as a miss. All right, this one's for five. Went off the other leg there too. 
for game. All right, now obviously in your drill, you'll go to the right side too, or you could just switch off. Your goal is not to miss two in a row, but you gotta get up above the square, nice and soft. Work on both legs, left, left, right leg, left leg. Gotta have everything in your arsenal. All right, so this next one's not that difficult. All it is, think about your normal mic and drill, but now I'm gonna work on pinning. It's an entirely different motor pattern when we're working on this, this. When your starting position is different, it ends up being a different motor pattern. So we work on that perfect scenario in our mic and drills, and then we get in a game and we all of a sudden have to pin it to our side, battle with this hand, veer finish. So let's work on that. It looks easy. The timing is a little bit more difficult. So all it is, is one dribble, pin off the outside foot, hit, veer off the inside foot, and finish, all right? So I'm just going back and forth, trying to accumulate reps. So all we're doing is boom, veer, finish. Bring it right back, right? So it's pin, bring it back to two hands, veer, finish. It's two. Three, four. The timing is a lot harder than it looks. Five, go one more extra credit. All right, now I know that looks kind of weird, but once you start to get that timing of pound with the outside foot, pin for a little bit added safety, hit with the inside arm, claim space, drive back off that inside leg. Once you start to get that in isolation and accumulate those reps, it becomes way easier in a game when you actually need to drive and hit somebody and, hit, and, and uh, get to that veer. So no pool for me today, my bad guys. I was feeling it today, I made my layups. I've been working on these drills. If you guys start working on these drills and you can do six in a row on all of these drills without missing two in a row, let me know. Maybe next time I'll come up with another challenge and you guys can get me in that pool. Until next time, I'm out.